Welcome back. It is time for our Monday segment that is Que Pasa, where we help you plan your week in the borderland. Yeah, that's right. As always, we speak with Lauren Falco of Destination El Paso, who tells us all of the upcoming events for the first week of April. Take a look. I'm joined here with Lauren Falco, as always, from Destination El Paso. We're talking all the cool events you can do here in the Borderland this week. But let's start off with this cool place. It is officially spring. Mm -hmm. We're going out to patios. We're walking around downtown. Warm air. We're, we're ready for it. We're excited. It is perfect. And <laughs> we're here at International that's right across San Jacinto Plaza. Yeah, so you're talking patios. This one has one of the best patios in downtown El Paso. Um, it actually overlooks San Jacinto. It's three stories beautiful. behind us, um, but some beautiful views from this area, and it's like the perfect patio spot. Um, obviously, we have some great mocktails in front of us. They serve incredible cocktails, like espresso martinis on tap. They have some incredible frozen drinks during the summer. Um, which is perfect. highly, highly suggest this place. Um, it's also just a, a cool part of downtown history. So um, come check it out. International Bar, they'll have jazz on Thursdays. They also do happy hour, five to seven most days. So come check it out. Speaking of spring, we have an activity coming up this week. Uh, it involves gnomes. So tell yes. me, what is it? <laughs> when you think spring, you think gnomes, right? It is uh, a sip and paint at Ardivino's Desert Crossing. Your canvas, you're able to paint a gnome with an instructor. Um, okay. It involves a complimentary drink, which we always love, and it's family friendly, so kids ages seven and up can attend, of course. Um, done one of these, it's really fun, especially with family members. So go check that out April 3rd at Ardivino's. We have featured so many <laughs> paranormal events yeah. at, in Que Pasa. But there's the another one coming up in San Elizario this time. Yeah, we are we are ghost girls, um, <laughs> but they are doing a ghost walk in San Elizario. Uh, it's Ghost of the Camino Real, so a lot of history involved, a lot of really cool aspects of history, especially in San, El San Elizario, which a lot of people don't get out to very often, and it's a huge cool tourist area, so go check that out. Um, but it's a fun walk around the area. You get to see all these historical buildings, and that is happening this weekend. Lauren, you're not wearing pink just... Just cuz. Just cuz. Yeah. There is a reason why I wore pink today. Mean Girls are coming to town, the Broadway musical. That's super exciting. I'm I'm so excited for this. I actually just watched the musical movie last night, cool. um, which is based off of the musical. Um, it's funny, it's a movie, then it's a musical, then it's a movie, movie musical. Um, but it's a really cool story. It, it kind of bases off the same. If you're familiar with the original Mean Girls, um, it's about Katie Heron and her time at the high school with the Mean Girls, Regina George. George. Um, but it's really, really fun. The music is awesome, like highly, highly incredible music. Um, but you can check that out at the Plaza Theater. It's April 5th through 7th, and we have five shows available. We love science. We're science girlies as well as ghost as girlies. As well as ghost um, girlies. <laughs> we believe in all. And mean girlies. Yeah, just mean girlies. <laughs> Um, but we, we love the idea of a science festival. I think, you know, we have a hole in our heart a little bit from when Science was downtown, and I miss being so close to it, so I'm excited to bring this to the convention center this weekend. Um, it's free to attend, and it's got activations, tons of kids, science experiments, and like science education, um, and you can go check that out at the convention center this weekend. Another event for the entire family, including your dog. Well, my dogs are my family, so yes, they, <laughs> they they are more important sometimes, if you will. <laughs> um, but it's a canine classic. It's an annual event that happens at Escada Day Park. Um, you can sign up yourself as well as your dog to walk. Um, you can visit visitalpaso.com and check out more information for that. Lauren, thank you so much for joining us Always. once again this week at the International Bar, cool place downtown to visit. Thank you for joining us as well. If you missed any of the dates, any of the times, any of the events, you can always go to visitalpaso.com and find all that information there. Thank you once again for joining us. We'll see you again next week.